possibility of three and there's only one left. How much pressure is on this team to win? You know, people are now saying that the season would be a failure if you guys don't win the MLS mm. Cup. How, how do you guys see that? No, I don't think there's any extra pressure that we've already put on ourselves during like start of the season. We wanted to win all three, obviously. Um, we don't get the chance to win the two, Leagues Cup and um, Conga Cup, but now we're putting all out for the MLS Cup, and uh, we—I I can't tell if it's a failure or not before we'll know. You know, we're gonna we're gonna go all out on it, and hopefully we'll win. Robert, um, I'm not 100 percent sure if we spoke to you after you signed your new deal, but um, I just wanted to ask you about it. Um, I'm sure you're very happy. Yeah, of course. I've uh, I'm really happy. I'm pleased to be staying here. Um, I feel like home here, so. I'm really grateful for the opportunity and the trust that the club's given me. What were the negotiations like? Um, you know, it, when the first time we asked you about it, you still had no idea what was going on. Can you take us through that process? Yeah, it was a. Uh, I didn't know much what was going on, but then um, we started talking, and both both parties just wanted to stay. I wanted me to stay, and I wanted to stay. So then it happened really quick. I don't think there was that much. There's not much. To go into it, it happened really quick because I think we got to agreement really fast. So. Robert, do you guys have in mind the result, the past result against Cincinnati 6 1? Do you guys have in mind going to tomorrow? And it's an important game where you can clinch playoffs but also give that step through the supporters. In some ways, yeah. In some ways, we of course we remember and um, losing 6 1 is uh, it's horrible every time. So, of course, there's a little part that's um, we want to kind of take with us and make sure that that doesn't happen. But it's it's just another game again. It's just another game in the um, in the league that we want to win. Robert, uh, that game there were six important players. I think six starters basically were missing from that lineup. Um, in addition to that, was there something else that went wrong in that game that you guys can specifically point to and change for this time, or that was just a strange anomaly of a game. What, what do you think? Um, I don't think that there's n any reason to go in too too deep into the game. I think it was one of the one of those games. It's eh, again we've played. I don't know how four many game four games still uh, since then. Mm -hmm. So it's not on our minds anymore. We've performed after that. Also, it'd be different if that was the turning point where we didn't win any more games after that. But we've won games and we've done we've done fairly well even though after it. Uh, so. Uh, I don't think there's this point to go too much into it. Robert, um, obviously Messi hasn't been able to play in a while, uh, but I'm sure he still has an influence in training sessions and, and some things that we are not able to see from the outside. Um, can you take us through what the what the process is for him? How can he continue to develop that relationship? How can he continue to influence this team while he's not playing? Well, we see him every day. We see him in the changing room every day. We see him now working hard to get back and that, that that's just even without saying anything to him we can see that he's really desperate to get, come back so when he is he's so motivated to come back and fight for this team that just motivates every every one of us to make sure that we are in a good position when he comes back uh robert just changing a little bit subject because I'm, I'm checking all your your <laughs> Any chance to say some place for an MLS cup in change? You know, oh yeah, I, yeah. There's some, some space. Place. Yeah, there is space. <laughs> <laughs> you were thinking about it? Mm, well, we'll see if I win it then. <laughs> then we'll see. Robert, what are you expecting from Cincinnati tomorrow? What is it about their team that makes them challenging? I mean, their supporters shield last year. They're a very good team, one of the top ones in the league. What is it that they do that is challenging? I think they're a very aggressive team, and they have uh, really good individuals. Uh, in every position, I think also as a unit they do really well. So overall, I mean, they're fighting for top of the top of the table position, so they're going to be a really good team. Um, I don't think that there's not much I can say that's going to be groundbreaking here. I mean, Cincinnati is a great but team. But tactically, is there anything they do that's different? Anything about their style? Uh, not nothing crazy different. I mean, they play usually they played with five at the back, so that's something different, I guess. But I mean, we're just going to have to focus more on the cutting their um, individually out because we know they have Acosta, for example. They, everything flows through him. If we can uh, somehow block him and make sure that he doesn't have a have a great game, I think we're we're on the winner there. Robert, the 
I want to talk about Leandro who's coming back. Mm. Uh, how is it going to be to, to play against him? And what was his moment where you guys shared a lot of? Yeah, it's it's great to see uh, DeAndre again. Um, yeah, he's a great guy, obviously, and hopefully tomorrow uh, we will we'll beat him, and he'll be the one who's sad, not the other way around. <laughs> he said there were no emotions last night coming back, 82 games. I'm sure there's emotions, right? When you, when you you know find your way back into a place that you call home for so long. Yeah, I think so too. I think there's a little bit of emotion. I think, but also he's he's a very good professional his mindset is really clear so I won't be surprised if he's blocked everything out also for this game he's a he's a really good prof professional but of course uh, the, like he's he was here for a long time so of course there's always emotions but I think that what he's done now is he's really just really so locked in on this game that he doesn't think about anything like that